the core founding principle for FIFAX when the project started was sustainability. We are located here at the Åland Islands. What we do is that we farm rainbow trout in uh, one of the largest leading land-based RAS facilities with the capacity of 3.2 million kilos annually. In order for the production to be sustainable, the, the fish welfare is really at, at its core. If the fish fares well, then the production and the farming is efficient and the impact to the environment is as small as possible also. In the summer of 22, we got infected by the IHN virus and had to empty the whole facility together with the authorities and clean and sanitize everything. This led us to raise the level of biosecurity and, and increase the possibility for a good fish welfare even further. We installed an ozone system for the whole inflow of new water already down at our pumping station by the sea. All water that comes into the actual factory area is already disinfected at that time. All incoming water is also treated with UV so that we get the combined effect of those, those together. We definitely see that the effect of this double barrier water treatment is a very good addition to the overall process. We circulate up to 99.7% of our water inside the rust process. So the whole 25 million liter system volume is circulated once per hour in the internal loop and hence the small amount of fresh water we take in from the Baltic Sea needs to be as clean as possible so that we minimize the risk of getting unwanted substances to enter the facility. We installed additional UV capacity as part of the internal loop in the sequence in the biofilters. So as a quick overview of the whole process, we pump the water from the Baltic Sea up to the facility, then it's already clean and treated on the way. Hot zone, UV and filtering. Inside the rust system, we feed the fish in the tanks, it grows, and then the fish excrements and the remnants of the feed, together with the circulating water, go through the water treatment process. And this continuous loop contains a number of steps. First, it's filtered to remove the solid substances. Then we regulate the pH. Then the main big thing is the biofiltering, which is the first part of the nitrogen treatment and removal. After that, we disinfect it with UV. Then we remove the carbon dioxide and finally oxygenate the water and send it back to the tanks. What we clearly can see is that the measures we have taken have significantly improved the water quality versus earlier. We see better growth rates, we see lower mortalities, we see better feed conversion rates. And all this means that the fish is doing better and that we have reached the higher level of welfare. Hence, we can safely say that these measures on biosecurity have definitely been successful and the Otson and UV disinfection elements have been a key part of that.